Hi, this video is about the Caribou Mathematics Contest. I'm going to show the solution for the February 2014 Grade 7-8 Contest Question 18, which also came up in the Grade 9-10 and 11-12 contests. So, the question is, the degree measures of the interior angles A, B, and C of a triangle are multiples of 20, where A is smaller than or equals to B, smaller than or equals to C. How many possible combinations of values of A, B, and C exist? Okay, so our strategy for this question will be to find the smallest possible value for A, which is still a multiple of 20, and then find all the other combinations for B and C. So we know that that smallest value for A must be 20 because the number has to be a multiple of 20. So then, since we know that B must be greater than or equals to A, the smallest value that B could be is 20. And then, since we know that the angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees, we will do 180 minus 40, which equals 140. So we know that C must equal 140. So now if we can still keep A, because for B, we can go up by 20, and for C, we can go down by 20. So now we can see that we can keep on going. So add 20 here, go down by 20 here. Now we can see that we can keep on going, add 20 and subtract 20. So now we can see that this is as far as it goes. We can see that they all are possible combinations because C is greater than or equals to B which is greater than or equals to A, and they all add up to 180. So now here we can add 20 and subtract 20, because then B would be greater than C, and we know that that cannot be. Okay, so now we will take the next, the next smallest possible value for A, which is just add 20, because there are multiples of 20, so 40. And then here we know that B can be the smallest possible value now for B is 40 because it has to be greater than or equals to A. And then we will do 180 minus 80 which is 100. Okay, so now we can see that we can add 20 here and subtract 20. So now we can see that we can't go any further because if we add 20 here and subtract 20 here, well then B will be greater than C and we know that that cannot happen. So now we will take the next smallest possible value for A which is 60. So now we know that B can equal to 60. And therefore, we know that 180 minus 120 is 60. So, now we know that A cannot be any greater than 60, because if it is, then it would be 80. And that means that B would have to be 80 or higher, so we'll take 80, which is 160. And then C would have to be 80 or greater, but that would already be over 180. Therefore, we know that these are all the possible combinations to satisfy the rule 
A smaller than or equals to B smaller than or equals to C. So now we will count them up. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 combinations. So we know that the answer is 7. If you'd like to know more about this contest, please feel free to visit our website at www.brocky.ca slash caribou.